The director behind Ninja Gaiden and the Dead or Alive series is looking to get back into the gaming industry and will be a perfect match with Xbox. What is up everybody welcome back to another video thank you for stopping by if you are new here and you enjoy what you see throughout this video i would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to join this community and help this channel grow and we can have some awesome conversations in the comments below about video games but for now let's jump into this so growing up through the original xbox and the xbox 360 era there were a lot of games from tecmo from itagaki that were exclusive to the platform these included some ninja guided games as well as the dead or alive series the fighting series and the extreme beach volleyball series and these games are pretty big on the platform as exclusives as they're popular they sold relatively well they got a lot of people talking especially with that dead or alive series and ninja gaiden itself is just an awesome fun action game if you haven't played any of the games in the series there's actually ninja gaiden 2 that was on the xbox 360 that is on game pass so you can go ahead and check that out and download it i would highly recommend it it is a very good game but since the release of that came back in 2008 Izagaki had a pretty big fallout with Tecmo basically saying that he wasn't getting unpaid bonuses and they were making disingenuous comments towards him, filing a $1 million lawsuit against the company. Now, since that time, Itagaki has gone on to make his own studio called Valhalla Game Studios, and this is the developer behind extremely interesting weird odd title i haven't played it but it is the wii u's devil's third which was i believe an exclusive wii u title that is extremely rare as we know the wii u did not sell very well so this game did not sell very well and it is a game that is extremely sought after by collectors if you were to go onto ebay and you look at the listings the sold listings that is for devil's third this game is selling for easily over $100, $150, over $200. And from what I've heard from people that have played it and just from reading stuff on the internet, is that this is an absolutely terrible game. People literally just want it so they can have it in their collection because of how rare it is. If you've played Devil's Third, please let me know in the comments below what you think about the game and if it is actually as bad as people say it is. Now, besides that, Itagaki posted this Facebook comment saying, for the past four years, I've been teaching job to foster juniors, but now I feel like I want to make games again and just establish a company for that purpose. He then went on to talk about his relationship with Microsoft and Xbox because he's had a great relationship making exclusive content for those platforms. And here's what he said. I would start again with the questions that I made to original Xbox designer Seamus Blackley two decades ago. Back then I asked him, are you confident that you will beat PS2? And he said, yes, Xbox is called Project Midway and I'll gain supremacy with it that's kind of an interesting quote there project midway and that he thinks he's gonna gain supremacy with it then says that's why i trusted him and actually created xbox exclusive games for about 10 years 20 years have passed since then and i established my own company it's a gaki game which is not tecmo nor valhalla i know microsoft is still aggressive if they reach out to me it will be an honor for me basically saying that if microsoft reaches out to him ask him to make exclusive content for the platform he would love to do it now what does this mean does this mean that xbox is going to reach out to him and get him to make exclusive content not 100 percent, but i think because of his relationship his previous relationship with microsoft with xbox making content for those platforms and games that are actually very good it would be a match made in heaven firstly i would definitely welcome just more ninja gaiden style content to the platform i think those would be big hits as well he is a Japanese developer and getting Japanese style games exclusive to the platform is something that Xbox, Microsoft, Phil Spencer has talked about getting more of and trying to get into the Japanese market through those means. We know that they have Tango Gameworks, which is a Japanese studio from the ZeniMax deal, which can be a good start for getting into the Japanese market more, making more Japanese style games. They're behind Tokyo Ghostwire or Ghostwire Tokyo, whatever it's called, although that is currently a PlayStation 5 exclusive or at least a timed exclusive and will most likely make its way over to the Xbox ecosystem onto Game Pass. They also have, like I've said in previous videos, with xCloud and the ability to play games on your mobile device, which is massive in Japan, being able to play on mobile devices. That's why the Nintendo Switch, one of the main reasons it's so big there is because you can take it anywhere you go. The 3DS was massive there. They love their handheld gaming and the ability to just attach a controller to your phone, play games through xCloud, I think could be a major hit if the content the Japanese gamers want is on there and then on top of that obviously not only is it great for japan if they were to get him on board and he was able to develop great games 
it is just great for the Xbox ecosystem because it is just another developer that they have on board with them. And I don't think it's going to be that expensive for them to acquire, especially because he is a single man studio, but it's a brand new studio. They don't have anything really that they can work off of or show that they've created yet other than his previous work with other games and other studios so it would be something starting from the bottom it would be funding him in order to start making great games and if we go off of his previous works his last big one which was ninja gaiden 2 for the xbox 360 which was a great game i definitely have faith that he can continue to leave from where he left off and make great content a lot of people think because he's been out of the industry for a decent amount of time he's not going to be able to do that but i don't know if that is necessarily true or necessarily fair I don't think making massive open world games is the only type of content people want. Obviously, that's not the stuff that he made. He made smaller, more action platform oriented style of games. And those style of games within like the 10 to 20 hour range, definitely people still enjoy playing. I know for myself, especially with being busy as I'm getting older, when I see a really awesome game that's like 10 to 20 hours, knowing that I can finish it within maybe a week really gets me excited, especially if the gameplay is fun story is good and all that kind of stuff so i don't know what this means if this would be something that xbox microsoft phil spencer would be interested in going after maybe it's not a studio that they acquire to be in xbox game studios maybe it's just a third party that like they do with bloober like they've done with the ori developers moon studios and they get them to create exclusive content for the platform, but as well being able to put that content out on other platforms at a later date, like what they did with Ori, Will of the Wisps and the Nintendo Switch. I don't know, but I think it's definitely something that they should look into and see where it goes. See if he presents them with a brand new game idea that is enticing, that will be great for Game Pass, that will be great for the Japanese market as well as the North American market, and overall just bolster that Xbox ecosystem platform. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this. Have you played the Ninja? Ninja Gaiden series? Have you played Ninja Gaiden 2 on Game Pass? Do you think that Itagaki would be a great addition to the Xbox Game Studios and to the Xbox ecosystem? I would love to hear all your thoughts about this in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you are new here and you enjoyed what you see throughout this video, you think it's entertaining and informative, I would really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to join this community. We can have some great conversations in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.